What's up gamers? It's now officially been over six months since we last heard any word from Amazon about the state of this game. And with the news that just dropped, uh, we should be able to now reassess and talk about what is going on behind the scenes and set some new release date expectations for each and every one of us. But the frustration in the community continues to grow. It continues to want to have some kind of answers. And ultimately, we can easily all agree that all the hype is gone. But at least this means that you're gonna get some content on YouTube from YouTubers like myself and MMO Byte covering this game and when, when, when will it ever come into fruition? But hey, at least we got content to talk about, even if it is delayed content. All right, so let's go ahead and get in the news. This comes from Smilegate. They're gonna be the ones publishing it in South Korea and they have an update for everybody in this news and alone is not really good news. This is bad news. Uh, this is going to mean that we're gonna be looking at at a minimum third quarter 2024. Uh, to say the least, hopefully not much longer than that. It could be based off of what they share. So they say, we're going to inform the Blue Protocol community team is going to go dormant. Well, that's nice that they're even talking to us as opposed to what Amazon's doing. They go and they continue. First of all, to the adventurers who've been looking forward to meeting in Blue Protocol, since the last announcement, we apologize for not being able to share with you guys the progress and any other questions about this in a timely manner. They're gonna to continue to collaborate with Bandai Namco online to officially launch the service, but they've been working hard to improve and reflect the various feedbacks left by adventurers. That's the key aspect here. Uh, the game in and of itself uh, has gotten some you know, criticisms, rightfully so. Any MMO out the gate, tends to have that kind of problem and so they're working hard to make sure they have the best foot forward when the game officially releases in the global edition and so i think taking in that feedback is going to give us a better product but that does in my mind mean that we're going to be waiting much longer for it and based off of what we've already seen with them covering the game in japan it seems like they're doing some really good things and honestly i'm going to be really excited to go hands-on with it uh hopefully this year but right now we're, we're shifting out of the second quarter out of june and into third quarter most likely late third quarter depending on uh, that but i'll be keeping you guys up to date if that changes again now in this process it's also confirmed that additional preparation time is going to be required and they want uh to make sure that when new uh the news is available that it is truly prepared for all the adventurers uh that are you know looking forward to playing the game so ultimately they're going to be going quiet and it's going to be discontinued from may the 20th at 10 a.m and then whenever there is news to share uh they're going to share it and i'll be sure to keep you guys up to date especially if it's related to that now the, you might not be aware of the unique publishing relationship between korea uh amazon and the japanese version of this game and that's essentially that you know like amazon is publishing the quote-unquote global version korea is going to be published by smilegate and in japan it's published by bandai namco it is what it is, right? Like there's there's so much there, but it's clear that the devs are nose to the grindstone and working so hard. And so this confirms to me something that we've all feared is that the devs do have their work still cut out for them. And you can actually be a dev too, thanks to this video sponsor, boot.dev. Guys, you've heard me tell you multiple times that I'm a software engineer, but I've never shared that I'm actually self-taught. And education is a key component and boot.dev makes that education incredibly easy to continue always honing my skills. That's because with boot.dev, you're going to learn back end web development from start to finish, both in the Python and the Go programming languages. The folks over at boot.dev also believe the smartest way to learn to code is by making sure that you're never bored. Boot.dev is online, it is self-paced, and it feels like a captivating RPG game. The platform is designed to getting you to write a ton of code because getting your hands on the keyboard and shipping projects is really the only way to learn. And I can personally attest to this. Being a software engineer has afforded me the ability to work remote and from home, which saves me countless hours fighting some kind of pointless commute. So guys, if you want to take on the challenge and learn some new skills and perhaps a new career, 
Check the link in the description box and use my code GINGERPRIME to save 25% off your first payment. That's 25% off your first month or your first year, depending on which subscription you choose. Again, thank you to boot.dev for sponsoring this video, but let's get back into it. All right, so now let's dive into what you guys have to say about this game. The Nados writes, if it's true that Amazon is ready to release, but Bandai Namco is the one sabotaging their own game by waiting on houses, then JC. Uh, what's the mindset here? We like houses and other JP MMOs like Final Fantasy 14, so it's not worth releasing if the game doesn't have it. Can I can't imagine Bandai being that inept. It does make more sense to me, at least, that Amazon would want to push the narrative they push with Lost Ark for New World and for New World that they're doing the same thing here and to focus in on Throne of Liberty. I do think Throne of Liberty is going to be taking kind of the key, uh, you know, lead in this regards. They just finished another NDA closed test and by all stretch of the imaginations that went really well that was on all the consoles and on the PC and that tells me I think that they're much closer to releasing that game than Blue Protocol is at this time so uh, we'll have to see how that how that does play out because we don't have a release date yet for Throne of Liberty but as soon as we do I'll be covering that over on my MMO channel Ginger Prime loves MMOs but Juice Fox writes, I thought this game was going to release in second quarter 2024. Did something change? I think the feedback that they got, I think the fact that they haven't reported on the financials is also a big red flag. Uh, and those things kind of together means that they're just not very confident that the game's going to hit and stick uh, like Lost Ark has. Uh, and I think this is kind of where the question is, you know, I bring up this question all the time, especially around these kind of games. Why aren't they just going to do early access? Early access ends up being kind of a, a really good solution to the problem. I guess it's because it's going to be a quote unquote free to play game and early access does have that kind of buy in uh, to the start of it. And that that gives you that ability to say, hey, we're not fully ready yet. That's what I want to see. And that's what I wish Blue Protocol would do. But they're already kind of locked in on their business model. And if Amazon wanted to go in and then change that, I'd actually be all for it. I'd love to know what you guys think about the idea of launching the game in early access. You can sound off in the comments and we'll have that in future videos as a discussion. Missouri writes, games in Japan always release years later than when the hype dies down to probably uh, with a decline in the player base in Japan. And it decides to open up to global where most people have already forgotten about it or a better game is released and then forgotten in this case uh we see that as a pattern and obviously the game is out in japan and has been it will be for at least over a year before it finally hits our shores um and i oh man it's not in every case right like there are definitely some games that they release globally final fantasy 14 is a good example of uh one such game but that is really difficult to do uh i don't i, I don't bemoan them there's plenty of really awesome games right now uh to be enjoying uh so i, I have plenty of time to play other things but yes, you can lose out on that. That's why I think it is actually going to be a win for them by them taking their time to make sure that the game is as good as it can be and ready to rock and roll uh, for everybody. Because what that then will hopefully tie into is just that bigger hype push. Because like Unixy says, all the hype is gone. Naturally so. It's, it's, in, it's impossible to maintain hype. Hype is in and of itself one heck of a drug for us gamers, um, but the hype will come back when we actually have a release date that is set in stone, that you see the marketing kick up, when you start seeing ads for a uh, blue protocol, like you're gonna you're gonna be like, oh man, I remember I was excited about that game. I think it can be re returned. I think it can be saved, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna happen today and it's perfectly fine to let that hype die down and be put into something else for the short term so i'm readjusting the release date into mar uh not march uh into the third quarter of 2024 uh for the time being and we'll continue to evaluate if that if that's going to make sense we'll get some more information from the devs here in june for their one year anniversary celebration and when we look at that it's going to be interesting to see what they have as a part of their new and updated roadmap and that might give us some insights as to when we can have more specific or a more focused release date uh conversation around uh this game anyway guys thank you so much for being here if you like the, the content and want to support it for free that like button's a great way you can always double tap that dislike button get it unstuck from time to time and uh otherwise leave a comment jump in the 
discord and uh you know continue the conversation rolling uh, we're gonna keep covering this game and hopefully hope for the best uh and hopefully some good news i can deliver on to you guys hopefully in the near future but for uh blue protocol central my name's brian thank you so much for watching hopefully i'll see you in the next video but until then take care